Fox 54 Sports is sponsored by Alpha Insurance. And happy Monday, everyone. For every high school basketball team in Birmingham this week, the magic number is two. With two victories, any one of our local teams could win a state championship, and that means you capture a blue map. Let's check out some early highlights from our very own Naomi Gray. After months of preparation and countless contests, more than a dozen teams from across North Alabama have made it here to the Final Four in Birmingham. And without further ado, let's cut straight to the action from the Class 1A State Semifinals. Decatur Heritage headlined in the Class 1A Boys State Semifinals with a matchup against Brantley. Opening minutes, Eagles down three. Braden Kyle forcing the turnover, turns on the Jets, and gets to finish off the glass. He doesn't just make big plays on the gridiron. Eagles down one. But here comes Brantley. Jaden Parks from the corner sinks in the triple. They'd end the first up six. But the Eagles will close the gap. Bo Sali wide open for three. It's good. Eagles on the brink of a major second quarter comeback. Then moments later, Kalik Smith dials one up from long distance. It's money. This would go down to the wire, but the Eagles wouldn't let up. They'd win it 42-38, punching a ticket to the state title game for the first time since 2019. Here's senior Braden Cowell on what this moment means to him. It's everything I've dreamed of since I was a little kid is playing in the state championship. And when I was younger, I really didn't do anything, but uh, now, I mean, I'm a key player, and it just, it's going to mean the world to me, and I'm going to play my heart out. Decatur Heritage takes on the winner of this one, Covenant Christian versus the defending champs, Otagaville. Midway through the first, Covenant Christian down four, Reed Trap parked outside, buries the triple to bring this within one. Later, Otagaville down two. Antonio Hardy Jr. shakes his defender and then splashes in the go-ahead tray. Covenant Christian staying on their heels. Hassan Alexander muscles in the contested bucket for the lead. There's a lot of outside shooting in this one and it'll keep things close. Jermaine Sanders puts another triple on the board, but Covenant Christian will take down Otagaville with the 73-62 victory and they'll take on Decatur Heritage for the state title. Class 1A Girls State Semis, defending champion Skyline Vikings taking on La Chapoca. First quarter, Vikings up five, make that eight as Blakely Stuckey ices in the tray. Seconds later, Lo Chapoca answers back. Miracle McLennan unable to connect on the three ball, but Maya Burke scoops and scores to cut into the deficit. Final minutes of the first, Lo Chapoca down eight. Brianna Jones drives to the baseline and converts underneath the basket to cut the Vikings lead in half. Skyline will start to pull away for double digits this time. Brindley Potts, unguarded, floats one in. And for the second year in a row, the Vikings punch a ticket to the title game where they'll take on Marion County. Class 1A state championship action begins on Thursday with the girls tipping at 4 o'clock, followed by the boys at 545. For now, reporting at Legacy Arena in Birmingham, Naomi Gray, Fox 54 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. Girls 2A Ashton Piska, the defending state champs, taking on Lynette. The Eagles, they set the tone early. They're already up 14 to nothing to start the game. It's Callie Tinker showing up in the first half wide open, splashes it from three-point range. They're now up by 18, and they weren't done. More specifically, Tinker was not done. She would step into another three-pointer and hits again from the top of the perimeter. 19-point advantage for the Lady Eagles. And the triple parades were infectious. Campbell Barron is left wide open, and she can next from the same spot that Tinker did and that spot was money and it was good everyone getting involved but Tinker could not be stopped trying to go coast to coast she shows her range now shows her speed as she finishes at the goal with the layup she had 24 points on the evening Pisco wins 64 to 47 they'll take on St. Luke's in the state title game as they try to bring another blue map back to Pisco Sticking with Class 2A, the section boys had a chance to advance, but they had to move past Lynette to get into that title game. Off to a hot start early. It'll be Jacob Cooper pulling up from three-point range. Everybody raining three-pointers today, everyone. Lions up by 11 in the first quarter. Lots of guys getting touches for section. Logan Patterson, he is cooking up a storm, puts on the spin cycle and the tough lay-in, but it is good. Lions up 28-17 to midway through the second. Fast forward to the second half now. 
now. Section on top by 10, and they are looking for more separation. It'll be Patterson. He will find Cooper wide open in the corner, and I guess uh, the vocabulary word of the night is money when it comes to three-point range. Cooper and Patterson combined for 36 points. Alex Gwynn led the way with 24. Section wins 81 to 58. Who would they face in the championship game? We're about to find out right now. A good one between Mars Hill and Highland Home. The Panthers looking for the first bucket of the game. It'll be Josh Bowerman spotting up on the right wing and bullseye. It's good. Mars Hill has an early 3-2 advantage. But the fighting squadron from Highland Home with an answer. Trouble with the handle. Ball finds the way to Jaden Lewis. Open on the left wing and bang, it is good. Back and forth we go from deep. Two teams just trading buckets early. Panthers down by four, pushing the pace. Entry feed inside to Connor Pig, up and under with the layup, making it a two-point game. Let's go to the final minute of the game. Panthers are down by three, and they need a bucket to save their season. They get it from Hugh Hargett, connected from three-point range. He ties the ball game at 62. Then with nine seconds to go, he's fouled. He goes to the free throw line, sinks the first free throw, sinks the second one, and Mars Hill comes back to win by a final of 64-62. to 62. They'll take on section for the state title later this week.